So what's going on there, YouTube? Figured I'd give you an update February 18th. It's now Tuesday night. And I've been going back and forth with the so-called powers to be. Some prepubescent child named Garrett or Garita. And uh, they don't want to do anything for the safety of the vehicle. Uh, basically gave me <coughs> a few options, as you may recall. One to be taking my old car back, which we all know they've done something to it. Hell, they've probably done something to this one too, in my opinion. Um, and pay thirteen hundred dollars, which they would not explain the fee. And since I paid my car off with my down payment, not sure where this cost is coming from, but I uh, wouldn't explain that. Refused to have the car independently checked, which I'm going to do anyway refused to do the spark plugs because they didn't do the 40,000 mile service on the car and basically told me to screw off in no certain words so I was told today to come pick up my vehicle and take it to the body shop to get it fixed but what's funny about this whole thing is if you may remember I was told that I had until the 20th to make my decision on the vehicle turns out Dick Garita and uh, of the customer relations department or whatnot, I guess, messaged um, the gentleman um, from CarMax in Sanford that's in service, supposedly, and told them that we uh, needed to return the car today. So they've lied about the car. They've lied about the service manual being in there they were going to take care of. They're not taking care of that. They've lied about the vehicle being in a safe condition in the 120-point check. The gentleman did take care of the fog lights. Of course, I haven't, or I mean, the, the headlights, I haven't seen them yet. So God only knows what condition those are in. I'm also concerned that they stole stuff out of the car. Now, that's just based on perception, right? Perception is reality. <laughs> Although I won't know until I get to my car because I had two major electronic devices that I left in there, but in a secure location. But uh, as vengeful as these people are, um, I just don't know. Now, again, I'm basing this on the perception of the people in South Florida and the way I've been treated. I could be completely wrong, and I hope I am, which I'll be good with that. But, you know, these people have let people drive off and die in vehicles, and that's, if you Google 2020, major news source, CBS News, and put CarMax Dangerous, you'll find those videos where two girls died and people have been in major accidents. And it's not funny, but CarMax seems to think it is, in my opinion. So I'm on my way to pick up my car, and uh, I've even put a full tank of gas in this car. I've washed it. Did I have to? No. But that's the difference between me and used car salesmen. And it's a shame. So we'll update here uh, right after I pick up my vehicle and see how bad it is. They promised to wash it, not run it through the tunnel, and uh, promised it's fixed. So we'll see. Good night.